Hello, this is a video review on the Sonic the Hedgehog movie figure collection. That's right, the 2.5 figures, and I've already done a review on this guy, Super Sonic, which goes with this line. But now I got all these. This is an unboxing. Got this from my local Target for $19.99. They had several in stock. That's time to get him them out of the box. I bought this because I wanted to be sure I could get all of them. I don't think I have scissors anywhere. But wait, I do. Here they are. Okay, I got scissors. It'd be way easier to open this. Perfect. Bring them out of the box. Seems to be they seem to be tied by some ties. Well, except this one. They have a cool background, and I guess we can pull this out. Yeah, cool little background. We'll keep that. Let's see where the ties are. And let's cut each individual tie. I have to get the ties out of the way so I don't have to do them later. In case you're wondering why I'm doing this with safety scissors, it's because that's all I have right now. There we go. Knuckles doesn't appear to have any. Yeah, Knuckles doesn't have one. Sonic, Tails, and Robotnik are the only ones who have them. Knuckles and the robot doesn't. Sonic has two layers. Actually, I think they both, all of them have two layers. Might be easy to cut each row one at a time. There we go. I'm going to start by plopping the robot out first because that's what I want to look at. Oh crap, the head popped off. Oh well. Typically when that happens to a Sonic figure, it's an easy fix. There we go. Like I said, when a part pops off a Sonic figure, it's a simple fix. It has a little display stand. The detail in it is pretty impressive. It makes me think of one of the Hornets from Code Lyoko. It has a little coating right there. Man, was it hard to get this out of the case. But I'm glad to have this. Cool little accessory in here is it next to Super Sonic. Pretty neat. Put all the miniature figures in there when we're done looking at them. I have to super glue that back on. Next up is Dr. Robotnik. I'm just giving this in a random order. For most articulated figures, they don't have much. His is hindered by his jacket. His legs can go up, back and forth. They can somewhat swivel out to the side, but not a lot. His arms can go side 360, side 360. Don't think his head rotates. Oh, well, it does. A little. Not a lot. Looks pretty good. Here's him next to Super Sonic. Put him in there with his little drone. Next up is Sonic. One thing I didn't notice about the Sonic figure when I got it in the store is that this ear isn't really colored in like the other one. As you could probably tell. Here's him next to his super counterpart. I actually think his super counterpart's a little bigger, a little too big compared to him, but it could just be because his his things are going up. But yeah, here's a two here's a small inch sonic figure. Rotation is somewhat hindered because of shoulders. Rotation at elbows, I mean shoulders. 
The only rotation is that the shoulders and up and down and side move for the legs. I believe that's how it is for all of them. Next up is Knuckles, the Echidna. Once again, 360 rotation at the shoulder like it is for all of them. Up kick, side kick. No head rotation because of the way his head, hair is, so no, he does not have rotation. Does have holes at the bottom. I think they all have that, so you could put them like with different accessories. Like the plane that you can buy separately, which I'm not able to get. Man, they make it so hard to get a toy out of the packaging. What, they don't want you to get your toy? Oh, it's so bad, I want my toy. And here is Miles Prowler. Tails Miles Prowler. Which I already did the review on his... I already did a review on this guy. Go check that out. Here's tail, the small tails. Here's him compared to Sonic's. How he compares, which is pretty cool. I really like that I got this. There's his tails. Rotation at the tails, rotation at the head, ro 360 rotation at the shoulder, swing out, 360 rotation at the shoulder, swings out, legs go up to the side, and yeah. It's really about it, because I don't think they the figures really do anything else. For now, I'll try to get them set up so we can look at them side by side. And yeah, I have just about every small like the small inch figure, which I'll grab the camera to bring it closer down. Sorry about that. There's a up close fit for you to see. Pretty good, right? Anyways, thanks for watching my video. Like and subscribe and have a great day.